Hi guys, welcome back. Are you uh, ready to do some dancing? <laughs> okay. Before I taught you the word costumes, right? In Korea, the traditional folk costume is hanbok. But we're talking about Mexico, right? We're talking about Mexican folk dancing, and they wear special costumes too. Now, boys and girls wear different costumes, uh, usually in, in most societies, right? Um, so in this case, we're talking about hats and boots, and these are for the, the boys, right? Hats and boots are for the boys. And we can see an example. Here's a, a hat here. This is a very colorful Mexican hat, okay? And we can see in some folk dances, men wear a large hat called a sombrero. This is called a sombrero. It's a, it's a special hat for Mexican uh, folk dancing, and Mexican cowboys also wear the sombrero. It's very good because in Mexico, the sun is very hot, so they need a very big hat to protect them from the sun, the heat of the sun. So this is a sombrero. And these, of course, are the boots here. These are what we call cowboy boots. And American cowboys, Mexican cowboys, both of them wear the same style of boots, the same type of boots. They're called cowboy boots. Let's read. The folk dances come from Mexico. So these folk dances come from Mexico. They are Mexican folk dances. They tell a story. They, the dances. The dances tell a story. So it's not just exercise. It's not just moving around. The dances actually tell a story. That's interesting. The costumes have a meaning. So if the dance tells a story, the costumes that the dancers wear are part of that story. They mean something, okay? So, Jonathan likes the cowboy dance the best. The dance about the cowboy, right? And here's Jonathan here with his cowboy hat and his boots. For this dance, Jonathan wears a cowboy hat and boots. Now you see this cowboy hat here and there's a better picture of it over here. This cowboy hat you don't call that a sombrero. That is not a sombrero. That's just a cowboy hat. This is a sombrero. As you can see, it's a little bit different style. It has the round, uh, like a cone on the head, and it's very colorful, and it has a very wide uh, brim. The cowboy hat, you can see, has this special shape right here. It's like a little valley between two mountains, and it has the brim, the shape of the brim. It's not as wide as the sombrero. So cowboy hat and sombrero are different. Don't be confused on that. But Jonathan likes to wear a cowboy hat and he likes to wear the cowboy boots. He's doing the cowboy folk dance. Okay, so these are the hats and boots that the boys wear uh, in uh, this dance. And remember, this is Mexico down here. This is the USA. But remember, cowboys are not just in Mexico. They're also in the US. This is Texas here. So cowboys are really all in this area, and of course up here too. <laughs> and a long time ago, also in the middle, middle west. So, but nowadays you really find cowboys in the southwest and the west of America, and also in Mexico. Okay, now that's for the boys. What about the girls, right? The girls, wow, look at these dresses. Very colorful, very beautiful, right? The girls wear ribbons and ruffles. Ribbons and ruffles. So. Ribbons are what the girls will wear in their hair. These are ribbons. They're long strips of cloth, very colorful, red, pink, purple. They're ribbons. Now, what are ruffles? Ruffles. Well, if you look at the, the, the shape of the dress here and also what these girls are wearing, the ruffles uh, are like, they're, they're a type of uh, shape for the, for the dresses. And you usually find the ruffles also on the edges here, they're ruffled. They have this wavy shape like this, and that is a ruffle. Okay? So, the girls dress up for dances too. So the boys don't just wear special clothes. The girls also dress up. When you say somebody dresses up, it means you wear special clothes. If you see your friend and your friend is wearing shorts and a t-shirt, they didn't dress up. But the next day, you see the same friend. Now that friend is wearing a suit, very nice pants, a shirt, a tie, a suit jacket. Why did you dress up? What's going on? 
maybe this person, maybe your friend is going to a special ceremony or uh, some type of show or they have something important to do, right? Then they dress up. So if you say somebody is dressed up, they're wearing special clothes. Not ordinary clothes, but special clothes, usually expensive or good-looking clothes. So the girls dress up for dances too. They wear flowers in their hair, so they can put flowers in their hair. They wear ribbons and lace. Lace is a white type of material with many holes in it, but it's, it's made in very beautiful patterns. It's, that's lace, okay, lace. And this is, you can see the lace here on this fan. They wear colorful skirts that spin and twirl. Spin means go around, twirl is like, you know, up and down. Spin and twirl are like motions, very quick motions. And you can see her, see this girl here, she is twirling her dress, right? And uh, this girl here is also twirling. When they spin, they spin around, right? So they spin, okay? Uh, this one here, this is, a, uh, this is a fan for the girls. Sometimes the girls will use a fan in their, in their uh, uh, dances. And they also use castanets, which are a special type of shoe here. Or, uh, not, sorry, not a shoe. It's a type of thing that they uh, will um, use to make noise. In some folk dances, women use a fan. So this is a fan here. It's a very beautiful fan. And by the way, it's not just in Mexico. In some Japanese folk dances, you see the women also using fans as part of the dance. So fans are very popular, especially in folk dances. And sometimes they use castanets. Castanets are these things here. Okay, so uh, we saw the costumes for the boys, and these are the costumes for the girls. Okay, so very colorful. And the Mexican uh, uh, clothes are very colorful and very uh, pretty, very beautiful. Now, this is another type of outfit. Now, you can see here, I, I don't know if this is Jonathan. We can't see his face, but he looks actually older. But look at his pants. He's, he's got these patterns on his pants, and he is wearing a sombrero. That is a wide brim. So he's wearing a sombrero. And the girl he's, he's dancing with has ribbons in her hair. She has ruffles in her dress, and uh, she has lace on the edges of her dress. She's not uh, using a fan, though, okay? So very colorful, very uh, beautiful costumes. Okay, let's take a look at the music makers. These are things that the kids use to make music, okay? Jonathan dances to a very special kind of music. Of course, there are many kinds of music, right? There's hip-hop, there's R&B, there's rock and roll, right? There's all sorts of different kinds of music. But Jonathan dances to a special kind of music. It comes from Mexico. This music comes from Mexico. It is called, what's that word there? It's a fun word, mariachi. Mariachi. Sounds fun, mariachi. It is called mariachi music. Mariachi music. The music is fast and fun. So if you go to Mexico, you might see a group of musicians uh, walking around and playing music and singing. And that's mariachi music. It's a lot of fun. It's very fast. Okay? So what do they use to help them make this music? There are a couple of different instruments. We can see in this picture, right, that these kids are holding different things. They're holding castanets and maracas. We talked about castanets on the previous slide, right, when we talked about what the girls use. Sometimes the girls use fans, sometimes they use their castanets. And you can see these girls in the front, they're holding castanets, right? Now, many of the boys in the back, they're holding maracas. And we can see an example of maracas here. They have a handle that you hold, and there's a big uh, uh, a globe or round thing on the top and inside there there's some beads or something that makes a noise when you shake it right so castanets and maracas are used in mariachi music they help add to the beat maracas are fun to shake you shake them they make the noise they're fun they are fun to make too it's fun to make a maracas too wouldn't you like to make a maracas well Let's take a look at that after we take a break. 
So we're going to take a look in the next section, in the next lesson, we'll take a look at how to make maracas. That'll be fun. Okay, so I'll see you then. See you soon.